Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the top tracks on Vivo V60 Lite. Alright, let's open up the settings and from here we need to scroll down a little until we find uh, shortcuts and accessibility, here it is, uh, and in here I'll show you in my opinion the most interesting things that we have on our Vivo. Uh, let's begin with the multitasking, we have those three things, three features, split screen, small window and the smart sidebar. Let's begin with the split screen maybe, mm, make sure that it's enabled, uh, and we have a few ways how we can enter the split screen. Uh, it depends uh, which navigation mode we are using, in my case I'm using three keys. Uh, if you are using the gestures, uh, it will uh, look a little bit different. In here, you can always click on learn gestures um, and uh, it will depend a little from which mode uh, you are using. Uh, so, in here we have like a tutorial how we can uh, enter the app in the split screen uh, mode. It says that we can slide with the three fingers to launch uh, the uh, split screen mode, but as you can see, when I'm doing it in the settings, it says that it's not supported. So we need to find an app that supports that. Uh, for example, I'll show you that notes uh, support that mode. So I'll slide to the upside with three fingers. Okay, and now click on got it. And now we just need to simply select the second app that we want to use in split screen mode. So, mm, for example, let's select the calculator. And as you can see now, both apps are opened. On the bottom we have calculator, on the top we have our notes so it's pretty cool because thanks to that we can do two things at the same time we can quickly count something and then get back into uh, writing our note saves some time we don't need to you know each time switch between the apps they are open at the same time so it's better for us mm. now if you click on those three dots in the middle you can swap the apps so now calculator is on the top and let's say that you are using this uh, split screen mode I mean this combination of notes and calculator really often and uh, you know it's pretty annoying to each time mm, you know slide with the three fingers in the notes then look for the calculator we can do it faster we can add a combination click on add now I will close uh, my split screen mode and you can see that on our home screen a shortcut appeared. Now when I'll tap on that, both apps open already in the split screen mode. Pretty cool thing and it also sub, uh, saves some time. Uh, now if you click for example on this bar, you can switch the apps or exit them. If you hold on those three dots, oh not that, my bad. Uh, if you grab it, uh, you can adjust the size of each window. So now, for example, let's do it in that way. You can see that now calculator is really small and notes are much, much bigger. It works, of course, uh, in both ways. But you need to be aware that if you go too much, when the color has changed into gray, now when I will raise the finger, the app opens in the full screen. Currently, it's the notes. So that's how you can use the split screen mode. Now I'll show you the alternate way how you can enter it. Uh, so to do it, open up the recent apps, click on the small arrow and you can click on split screen. And now you can select the second app. There is also the uh, third way uh, to do it. We need to use our sidebar. So I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so now let's open up the settings. Uh, once again, shortcuts and accessibility. And now let's go into smart sidebar and make sure that it's enabled. Uh, and I'll show you how you can open up uh, the split screen mode in the third way. To do it, hold on the icon from the sidebar, place it on the top. Oh, actually, I thought that it will work but at for unfortunately it doesn't okay so my bad uh, so we have two ways how we can launch it uh, let's go into our smart bar itself you can see that in here we have some apps as you scroll down and click on that arrow you can find the edit button uh, and let's say that i don't want in my sidebar for example the netflix 
and the Facebook and instead of them I want my phone app and I don't know maybe maps to save it click on done and now those apps are in here as you can see uh, now if you click on one of those apps from the sidebar they will open in the floating window it is also really cool for uh, multitasking because thanks to that we can do two things at the same time let's say that uh, we are scrolling the internet we are using the chrome uh, and we can adjust the size of our second app and still do other things in our internet everything works as you can see we can now quickly switch into our calculator simply tap on that quickly count something and then you can get back into scrolling your internet also pretty cool thing uh, now if you click on that button you can minimize the window you can see that now it's attached into the edge of our screen it's a little bit hidden so now when we want to get access to it simply tap on that and the window appears uh, if you click on the button on the left side you open that up in full screen so that's how it works uh, let's scroll down again a little and down below we have for example the super screenshot uh, you know the normal way of creating a screenshot is by clicking the power button and volume down button that's the most common way uh, but we have alternate ways how we can do it in here we also have the guide how we can take a screenshot so we have screenshot via gesture simply slide with with three fingers to the downside and the screenshot has been taken we have via buttons also works and uh, now we can select an area screenshot to do it slide with your three fingers and hold and now we can select which part of the screen we would like to screenshot down below we can also change the shape for example let's select the heart to save it click on that icon on the top right corner and it also has been saved. Uh, okay, we also have the uh, long screenshot. To do it, slide with three fingers and in here you need to quickly click on long screenshot. Now it's loading and it's slowly scrolling as you can see. To save it, click on the save button. Pretty easy thing. Everything is of course uh, saved in our gallery so that when it comes to the screenshots now down below we have the smart motion we have smart screen on and off if you tap on that we have things such as pick up to wake double tap to wake keep scroll while viewing or double tap to turn off let's select everything currently and let's begin with the pick up to wake so i need to turn off my screen let's say that our phone is laying flat just like that and now we don't need to do anything to launch our screen we just need to simply grab it pick it up and you can see that the screen has been automatically turned off that's the first feature now double tap to wake one of my favorites really worth enabling again our phone is laying flat let's say that we only want to quickly check out the hour or check did someone send us a message to do it double tap on the screen you'll be able to see the notifications uh, let's say that we have checked everything that we want we double tap again and the screen also turns off uh, that's actually the uh, last function double tap to turn off really worth uh, also enabling uh, turning on i'm sorry uh, and the last thing in here keep screen on while viewing the screen stays on when the front camera detects you're looking at it uh, really worth also enabling uh, we have the smart calling smart answer smart switch and the smart mute smart answer works in that way that when it's enabled now when we will lift up our phone and place it next to our ear the call will be answered the smart switch works in that way that during hand-free calls 
we need to again lift up the phone to ear to switch to handset and smart mute. It works in that way that when someone is calling us, we can cover the screen using our hand just like that and the call will be muted. And the last thing in here is shake for torch. Uh, we need to be on our home screen or uh, on the lock screen to launch the flashlight. Now I'll show you, I'm on my home screen, I will shake and the flashlight launched. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot uh, turn it off using the same gesture, we need to do this manually. That's a little bit of a shame, but it works only in one way. And now let's try with the lock screen. And it also launched. Okay. I will turn it off for now. Uh, back into the settings. I think that's all when it comes to accessibility and gestures from the things that I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, that's all. We also have cool thing, ultra game mode. Uh, but I'm wondering, did the game already download it? Unfortunately not. So maybe I'll try it in the Candy Crush. Okay. Uh, and now, mm, in here we have this smart uh, bar, it's a little bit hidden, in the place where I'm pointing at, to launch the game mode, we just need to simply slide to the right side, and in here we have the game tools, and we can enable to block notifications, we can reject the calls, we can lock our brightness, we can quickly create a screenshot, we can enable the mistouch prevention so we want to get distracted or nothing wrong will happen during our gameplay uh, down below we can see the apps of course we can edit them so now when i click on the chrome it opens in the floating window and we can still play also really cool thing uh, and we have the performance panel if you want to have the best performance in your gameplay uh, you can select the boost mode but remember that in this mode, the battery consumption will be bigger and the phone might uh, heat up a little bit more. So you should uh, use this mode only during the gameplay and not for a longer period of time because, you know, overheating your device is not the thing that we should uh, do uh, and we should avoid that. But for example, when you are playing, I don't know, two hours a day and then you turn it off, it will be completely fine. Down below we can also select the refresh rate, I always highly recommend setting it on high level. Alright, and that's all in this video, thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.